There is little doubt that what was going on in the Egyptian region tens of thousands of years ago was of major importance to human understanding of the earth. They went to utter enormous links that blow our minds today, yet we still don't know what it all means. The construction techniques are beyond that of modern efforts of construction, and we now know this was an effort to make something last forever. It is a message. Consider this. When we experience deja vu, we get the feeling that we know what is just about to happen. Then we lose the feeling. But in that moment, it feels like you are just about to experience something profound. What if life within us, our soul, has in fact traveled eternally, bringing life to not just us as individuals, but also since the dawn of time? Imagine if this could be possible. Perhaps it is the collective effort of the soul that is attempting to reach through the ages to stop an everlasting cycle that eventually has always resulted in a cataclysm. Just a thought, guys. Have you ever heard about the Serapium of Saqqara? You have probably seen photos of this place without actually realizing the sheer undertaking that was involved in cutting, shaping, and positioning of these mega wonders. Wait till you hear this. Quarried 400 miles away at Aswan, weighing over 100 tons each, the Serapium of Saqqara has been cut with such precision that the tolerances are considered almost impossible to achieve. These 25 black boxes are of such incredible precision that experts are claiming that they could not have been done by humans. Strangely, hieroglyphs that are inscribed onto the boxes are of such poor quality that they are considered to be dynastic Egyptian graffiti. Why would something as accurate to within a few microns have crappy hieroglyphs? Obviously, it is because the dynastic Egyptians did not have the tools or the imagination capable of such dramatic feats of engineering perfection. Again, history falls flat on its face, and we again echo this statement. The dynastic Egyptians we read about and are educated about did not build any of the ancient wonders of Egypt 5,000 years ago. These industrious marvels were designed by a much older race of beings that inhabited the earth long ago, way before known history even begins. And the point of these efforts are to speak to us across time, to tell us something of utter importance, and we are allowing these messages to be blocked by the corrupt elite that rule this earth. Just why does made up history prevail before common sense? Time to wake up, we say. Anyway, these boxes remained airtight for countless thousands of years. No mummies or traces of mummies were found inside, so they were not coffins, but what could they have been? Perhaps there has been information recovered from within, and this has been quietly hushed up. Who knows? Egyptologists are claiming this was a burial site for bulls. No bulls ever found, by the way. Enough said there. Augusta Marietta came to this place around 1850 to recover manuscripts. He later became interested in the remains of Saqqara and excavated the entire site. It is unknown what he may have recovered. Perhaps there is answers in the Vatican's 50 miles of ancient documents. The Serapium of Saqqara has continued to confound experts the world over. You have to suggest that we are in fact missing something of massive importance. It is possible that the knowledge and technology did in fact originate from the stars. Something is being ignored or covered up by the so-called experts. How were these places constructed? No one knows. That should be enough to at least question everything we have ever been told. Wouldn't you agree? We may not have the answers, guys, but for now, at least, we do have the questions. Thank you for watching.